Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and in this video we're going to explore a very interesting investment project that potentially enhance a company's performance here. So the company that we're going to study here it calls Blue. Okay, right, so basically the project requires a total investment of 100 million. Okay, and they have to pay it entirely at the beginning of the project, which means in year zero. And then other than that, right, Okay, the estimated project life is about four years. And then now let's take a look on the uh, projected sales volume. Okay, so the projected sales volume is about sales volume is about 100,000 per year. And then the selling price is about 600. Okay, and then after that, the variable cost is going to be around 15% of the selling price. And the annual fixed cost is about 2 million. So at the same time, we are also given that um, the Blues have to pay the corporation tax about 26%. And then other than that, they mentioned to us that the investment project is expected to have a zero res residual value at the end of four years. And the depreciation is calculated based on a simple straight line method. And assuming that the cost of capital is about 16% and find the net present value of this project. So before we find the net present value of this project, right, we have to figure out the cash flow, which is the operating cash flow. In short form, we can call this thing as uh, OCF, okay, before we can actually calculate the MPV, which is the net present value. So before we find the OCF, okay, we need to figure out the sales, the variable cost, the fixed cost, depreciation, the EBT, tax, and so on. So let's work it out step by step now, okay? So first of all, let's calculate the sales. So the calculation for the sales will be very easy because here they mentioned to us that the anticipated or we can say the estimated sales volume is about 100,000 units per year and the selling price is about 600. So there's no changes from year one to year four, meaning to say we can just use the same figure from year one to year four for the sales. So over here, with 100,000 units and 600 ringgit selling price, it will give us about 60 million sales for a year, from year one to year four. Because this question, they didn't tell us anything about the inflation of the sales price and there's no changes in the sales volume. So we can just assume that the sales volume and the selling price are all the same from all the way from year one to year four. And other than that, right? Okay, how do we get the variable cost? So in this sentence, they mentions that the variable cost is 15% of the selling price. So the calculation will be very easy. So what we have to do here is we need to take the 15% and multiply with our 60 million sales. Then we can easily get the 9 million variable cost from year one all the way to year four. After that, they also mentions that the annual fixed cost is about 2 million every year. Okay. So over here, we just have to plug in the 2 million from year one to year four. And after that will be the depreciation. For these questions, the depreciation is calculated based on the simple straight line method. So the way we calculate the depreciation is pretty easy. Okay, we just have to take the depreciation. Okay, we just have to show the step like this. Depreciation is equivalent to the originals, um, original investment amount. And then remember, have to minus zero because there's no uh, resi residual value at the end of four years and then divide by four years. Okay, All right. So this is a simple way for us to get the depreciations. So the depreciation here is about 25 million every year. Okay, 25 million every year, which is very high. Okay, so over here, we just have to plug in the 25 million. Okay, for all the year. Right, it's about 25 million depreciation. So the EBT here is going to be very low because of the you know uh, high depreciation here. So in this scenario, we can get the um, EBT easily, okay, by taking the sales minus with the variable cost, fixed cost, and also the depreciation. And after that, we can get about 24 million um, EBT, okay. And other than that, right. EBT actually stands for uh, earning before tax, okay, for your information, yeah, earning before tax, okay, earning before tax. Okay, then next, we need to calculate the tax, because here they mentioned to us that 
this company is paying the tax of 26%. So the 26% is calculated, okay, based on our uh, EBT. So in this case, it's going to be this amount. Okay, it's about 6,240,000. Okay, right. So it's very simple calculation. You can just type equal 0 0.26 and then multiply with the L8, which is the EBT for year one. And then for your informations all the way from year one to year four, um, the EBT is the same. So meaning to say that the tax will be the same as well. Okay. Then after that, um, how can we get the net income? So very easy. What we have to do is we take the EBT minus with the tax and we can easily get the um, net income. So the net income is about seven, uh, 17760000 Okay. Then after that, we need to figure out the operating cash flow. So in this case, right, okay, if I want to get the operating cash flow, I have to take the net income plus, or we can say add back with the depreciation. So over here, you need to take the 17760000 here plus the depreciation of 25 million okay so every year the ocf or we can say the operating cash outflow is about 42 million 760000 okay that's it that's the way we find out um i'm not to say that this is the way we find out the mpv but this is the way we find out the operating cash flow okay so after we list out all the operating cash flow the last thing that we have to list out Okay, will be the initial investment. But somehow you can actually list out the initial investment at the very beginning here. Okay, so it's not necessary that all the time you have to uh, start with sales. Okay, sometimes you may start with initial investment as well. No issue with that. Okay, because the calculation will be the same. All right, so as you can see here, we get all these important informations already. And we can proceed with the calculation of um, MPV easily. Okay. So what we have to do is we plug in the figure one by one in the financial calculator. Okay, we have to plug in all the figure one by one by using the financial calculator. So over here, what we have to plug in after we key in the CF zero here, okay, we have to plug in the negative 100 million. Okay, this is the initial investment. And then after that, we need to key in the cash flow, okay, for the first year, okay, which is a uh, 42 million. 760,000 okay so we have to change the figure 42 million 760,000 so in this case right okay this case is very special because um the cash flow are all the same okay from year one to year four and it's repeating for four times so for the f here right okay when you key into the financial calculator the f here simply means the frequency so you can just type four here okay you can easily type four yeah and then another one would be the I. The I is representing the cost of capital. Okay. Then last but not least, you can easily get the uh, MPV. Okay. By plug in all the figure here, then you can get the um, MPV. Okay. So let's calculate. Okay. What is the MPV for these uh, questions? Okay. Right. Let me calculate here. Okay. So the MPV. Okay. We will get about 19 million, okay? 19 million 650,204.09. And this is how we find out the MPV, okay? As simple as this. So in the next video, I'm going to show you how can we use the financial calculator and find out the MPV here, okay? Thank you for watching. All right, bye. See you in the next video.